Hi everybody, my name is Antoinette and welcome to Good Owl Games, where I'm here to help you choose some great games for game night. So today I'm looking at Wu Wei, Journey of the Changing Path, and it's a game about where the student becomes the master. And while I'm not entirely certain this is great at two players, I do feel like this game has something going for it. So here's five things I think you need to know about it. <laughs> Wu Wei, Journey of the Changing Paths, is a game rooted in the concept of the Tao. In it, your students traverse the board to meet the masters and learn from them, all while watching out for the changing elements and using Qi and places on the board to get ahead. Then be the first to return both your student and master to the center to be the winner. Thing one, what's this game all about? So Wu Wei, and I'm going to call it that for short from now on, is a game about students becoming masters. And you go on in a journey to visit the various masters to learn what they can teach before you kind of head back to where you started and, you know, announce yourself the winner. Um, the game says that it's based on kind of Taoist or Taoist, I suppose, principles. And that's to do, I guess, with the way, where there's a certain way of being with kind of the natural elements. And you do see that reflected in the game because the elements play a large role in where you can move, um, the kind of powers you may be able to activate in the places you visit. So you definitely see that here. Um, but this isn't really a thematic game at all. It definitely feels like um, an abstract kind of puzzle. And you see this particularly in the fact that your student token that you used to go around is simply a dice who goes from a minus to a plus when they become a master um, so yeah not big on story but definitely more kind of puzzly things going on um, so similar games to this um, it definitely reminds me of those kind of family weight games where you race around the board to get this specific objectives before getting back to the center to be declared the winner um, but also I find it reminds me of something a little like Munchkin, where everybody is trying to achieve a particular goal and then you kind of try and impede each other and, you know, get in each other's way as somebody gets close to victory. Um, and I definitely feel a lot of that here. Thing two, what kind of actions are you going to be performing on your turn? To me, Wu Wei really feels like a race game because you start at a particular starting location, you head out to go to these five different markers, and then the first one back with their wisdom is the winner. And how this all works is that on your turn, you can move your dice three spaces. So this is your student. And presumably you're going to move them towards a master because that's where all the good stuff is. And when you reach a master, you'll get a special power card and probably some chi as well. And chi is kind of a resource that allows you to do extra things like pay, pay for the card you just got from your master or to be able to move extra spaces. Um, but that all sounds awfully easy. What I haven't mentioned yet is the fact that the board is made up of different terrain types and these will change as the game goes on and how it works is depending on what type of tile you end your turn on, this will um, alternate, you know, what tiles kind of are available for use. So for example, there is always one tile that you'll not be able to travel on. So it'll be like, you can't travel through blue tiles right now. And this will change if you end up on uh, the right tile to change it. Um, and this goes for a chi as well and for um, other parts of the game where the board is kind of in flux. Um, so what the game really wants you to do is to be as efficient as possible with traveling around and helping yourself as much as you can while also hindering everybody else. And while I didn't particularly enjoy the point to point movement part of it, um, I will say that this ability to alter the board um, to help yourself um, and to hurt everyone else is a really interesting idea. Thing three on the table. And yeah, this game is on the table, all over the table, in the middle of the table. Yeah, it's huge. Um, but it is very impressive to look at when it's all set up. Um, and the setup for it actually isn't terrible either. It takes a little bit of time, but not a ton. And I think that's helped by the fact that game has its own kind of very convenient insert for holding all of the tiles you will need for different sections. So yeah, I think that speeds everything up a little bit. 
It takes about half an hour for two of us to play, but I don't feel like that's really representative of this game at all. Um, mostly because I feel like it should be played with more people, so I would be adding extra time onto that. Um, and the rule book isn't half bad either, and there are some nice reminder cards too, just to help you get along. Um, what is interesting here is its replayability, in which the game has a variety of different modes that you can play, um, depending on if you have more players and such. So there is a one versus many mode, um, where you can make walls and such out on the board. There is like a master mode where you can control ma an extra master. Um, and so I think these kind of extra versions um, do help the game quite a bit. Thing four, how does this game look and feel? Well, from the minute I opened up the box of this, it was obvious I was in for a treat. There is just so much stuff to enjoy and appreciate in here. Um, and I'm gonna get what everything is made of completely incorrect, but here's my interpretation, um, which is that you get these really kind of chunky wooden, maybe plastic tiles. Um, there are custom kind of specialized dice. There are cloth bags. There are these beautiful plastic tokens. There's an insert, there's recessed boards. Like this game absolutely has everything you would want from a deluxe game. Um, if anything, it reminds me of one of those kind of fancy checker sets that comes in the wooden boxes. It's kind of got that feel about it. Although I will point out that my boards are already starting to wear a little bit on the edges. So I'm not sure where you go with that. Um, art wise, well, the cover is the only really real piece of art and it's not the most exciting or indicative of what's in the game. I'm not sure I would have pulled it off the shelf if I'd seen it. Um, and the only other place we kind of have bits of art is on those different terrain tile types and I really wish they were brighter. The whole game seems to be very tonal in colours. Um, I assume that's to make it feel kind of classy and things like that and it, it does it but I would love to have seen a pop of colour. Um, but overall though there is so much to enjoy and appreciate in this box it's only slightly overwhelming. Thing five, is this game actually any good? At two players, I'm going to say no. I didn't have a good experience with this. Um, the board just felt way too open. Um, I could just go wherever I wanted. Myself and my opponent really ended up doing kind of the same moves every turn. Um, and just it didn't seem worthwhile to try and waste my turn hindering my opponent when I could just be getting one step closer to the end. Um, so yeah, didn't have a whole lot of fun with it. But don't write it off entirely yet. Um, I really think that this game will shine with more people um, and that's what it feels like. I just felt like the board was too open, too big. And the more people you put in there, the more interesting it gets and the more likely that you'll get to use those kind of terrain pieces in interesting and cool ways to stop, you know, your opponents and help yourself. And I think that's what this game really is about. So I think this will shine with groups of people who enjoy kind of getting one up on each other or possibly even families. I could see this being played around Christmas time with a group with much yelling and shouting over who really won. Um, like it's got that kind of family feel to it in some respects. But yeah, for me, you know, my turns didn't feel very exciting. Winning didn't feel very exciting. But I do feel like this game has more going for it than just its good looks. Do I think you should have Wu Wei Journey of the Changing Path in your collection? I think if you've got a group of people who love one-upping each other and would appreciate a particularly gorgeous game, then you should probably go and look this one up. You've been watching Good Owl Games. Why not like or subscribe to the channel so you can get updates about my future videos? Or if you have any comments or queries you'd like to make about Wu Wei Journey of the Changing Path, why not shout them off in the comment box below? Tune in again next time for some more short and hopefully informative board game reviews.